Hello and welcome to the show and welcome to a dalliance in small scale Napoleonics. This is the Battle of Wagram, 6th of July, 1809, and Davout's attack on Mark Graf Neusiedl, or the left flank of the Austrian army. So it's Rod Humble's 2x2 Napoleonics and 2mm miniatures for this game. I'll be using a couple of rule additions and amendments. Firstly, for orders and intentions, each division or regiment will have to roll two dice six to see whether they actually carry those out. The results of that may mean a blunder, in which case I'll roll another 1d6 to see what happens. A dithering commander, which means nothing will happen. Uh, uh, half the formation moving or everybody moves as per the orders. The other amendment will be force morale. Each side will have 10 with a one dice three added on. And whenever a unit uh, dies, they will get a bad things happen with the following results on that table. As soon as the force gets down to zero, they will route off the table. For this battle, both sides will have a force morale of 12. The ground for today's battle is dominated by the Rosbach stream, which runs from left to right. It is lightly wooded on both sides and will make for difficult going for the troops crossing. To the north is the escarpment and the plateau where the Austrian divisions are awaiting the French attack. On the southern side of the valley, on again slight high ground, is Davout's corps waiting across that stream and attack. The following villages are of note. Mark Graf Neusiedl, henceforth known as Mark, Grosshofen, Glinzendorf and Ober Siebenbrunn. Right, here we are looking obliquely at uh, Davout's right wing of the Grand Armée. Got the village of Grosshofen here and the first of the divisions with uh, Pudo. Uh, we have a bit of a grand battery here with the core artillery. Then we have the division with Goudin, Friant and Morand. And over on the right flank uh, we have the cavalry with uh, Montbrun, Pouli and Grouchy. So the light cavalry to the front and the dragoons and the cuirassier to the rear. Rosenberg's corps situated on the lower slopes of the escarpment here with one of the divisions pushed forward into Mark and the other two divisions here. Behind we have Nordman's advance guard corps, one of the divisions to the front and one in reserve here. And to the left and rear, we have the cavalry's reserve with Nozitz, uh, the Dragoons and the Hussars. So the Battle of Wagram rages certainly to the west as we look, but this is the Austrian left flank. And let's see what Davu has to offer. Right, from the perspective of tactics, what is Davu going to do? I think it's basically a general advance on the left of his corps across the Rosbach and firstly seize the village of Mark. The cavalry will push up on the right and I know the Austrians have got cavalry as well so you might see what actually happened which is a big cavalry clash but the main effort will be taking that village. Right, Goudin's division next. Again, attack column. Oh, double one blunder, oh dear. What are they going to be doing? Six. Well, fortunately for them, that is move towards the enemy. Um, yeah, move up the uh, divisional commanders. All right, Frion's division. Now they've got this um, stream here, so you've got to get across. Uh, seven, they're okay. I'll take them up to the river. And finally, Moran's division at the back, six. All right, only half the formation that moves. There's three of them. I'll just move those two, and that one stays there with the divisional commander. Right, the cavalry on the right flank. Um, now, with regards to the orders, I'm going to say I'm going to do something, roll, and if they can't do it, um, fine. But then everybody else still does their orders. So basically all of the cavalry will advance across here. But I've got to roll three times because there's three different groupings here. So Montbrun, uh, seven is fine. So I think they're just going to go straight across. 
bazaars and the uh, uh, Chateau de Cheval and we've got the heavier Dragoons and Coissier Dragoons here they're all right heavy cavalry go four actually and the Coissier here six only half can move so that's just one of the uh, groupings there that one stays back Right, so the general advance has begun. And to be honest, at this stage, um, nobody's in range for any firing. And the Austrians are just going to see what happens. So they'll stay on the escarpment and the plateau. The artillery have a range of eight. So um, another move to get them in position here is required. Uh, so uh, for the division, blunder. Oh dear. Right. Puto is not quite understanding orders by the sounds of it. Five. Well, perhaps he is. They still move forward. All right. Lucky for them. The ground battery here. Ooh, they're probably just about in range. And then the attack columns. I think divisional commander will move across with the infantry. All right. Goudan's division... Right, well only one of them is going to be moving forward, so I'm going to send this lot down the road. They go four. You will move behind them. Three out. Again, only half the formation moves. They can uh, only go two because they're crossing this uh, stream. So they'll go there. And more around at the rear, not a problem. Get some bunching up here. Hold them back a little bit. There we go. Right, can we get the light cavalry across the river? Yes. We go four. Heavy cavalry. Yes. Get up and start crossing over. And the Yes. All right. I'll bring them up there. Join them up. I'm not going to send that off uh, on their own. Okay, end of the second turn. Right, I haven't moved uh, Davu as such, but I'm going to move him up. This is the main attack area, so he's going to be in this location. Right, I suspect this is going to be the last time uh, we do a proper move uh, without the Austrians doing something. Let's see. Right, here we go. Puto's division, five. All right, well, only half of them can move. Um, I'll move this lot here. Get up to the over there. Guns, oh, they can fire in a minute. Gudan's division, they can move now. Um, oh, they're up at the edge of the village. I'm not going to mess about with this. It's going to get straight in. And these guys will actually come up right up behind them. Free out. Yeah, they're okay. Um, now, I probably want to get them to swing around slightly to the right. But they're going to take a while coming across all of this area. And finally, Moran's division here, uh, I think actually I'm going to push them up the road, get them moving quicker, which they can do. So they can go four. That's marching through Glinzendorf. Right, light cavalry, push around to the right. Yes. Dragoons, not a problem. Caressier. Move there. Fanning around. Now, we can actually get some firing here from the defenders of Mark against the attack column here. Now, I haven't got a problem with the um, 
Austrians being pinned in here because they're defending this. Right, so the only modifier is a plus one because it's the first volley. So what happens? Three becomes four, and that is no effect. Right, I think as a precaution, I'm going to start to get the um, cavalry, Austrian cavalry, moving forward. So the heavies, not a problem there. And the lights, there's ours. Ah, they're blundering about. What are they going to do? One. Mm. Well, they don't fancy it. They're going backwards. And that is not <laughs> what knows it's wanted. Is uh, Hussars uh, moving back behind the main line. Right, we have the Grand Battery firing now. These guys here, um, they're too close to the attack columns here, so we'll um, concentrate on this formation, uh, this brigade in the village here. Right, it's the first volley, uh, but uh, it's long range, so it's minus one and plus one, so that cancels each other out. So, so this battery here, perfect. This one, six. So these are disrupted. I'll put a little marker on them there. Uh, group five. Right, that's disrupted as well. So I don't think it accumulates to make a route. Um, so I don't think that's any effect. I might have got that one wrong. And finally, no effect on the uh, fourth uh, battery there. All right, things are starting to hot up. End of the turn. All right, Puto's division here will move up. Uh, again, only half. So I think we'll just move this side and keep it reasonably together. All right, Goudan's um, division, they're in. So that's a column there. Uh, divisional commander will get involved. I think he's probably going to have to get around to the front brigade. And the second lot will just push forward right behind. All right, Phil, uh, again, half only. Uh, so they're clustering around here. Move up, move up, they'll stay there. So they're funning around in the difficult terrain there. Bring on. They're okay. Uh, so they can go four along the road. Zars. Ooh, three. I'm afraid that's a dither. He doesn't know quite what to do now. All right, the dragoons, they're all right. And the cuirassier, uh, five. That's a half move, so the other half here will just push up next to them. So they're a bit of a disarray on the right hand side with the cavalry, not overly keen. Right, it's uh, the Austrian rally, so I think I can rally these guys to see if they're not pinned. Uh, but I can't do that because the enemy are in contact, so they've missed their opportunity there. And that's the only rally the Aust Austrians can do. Wrong. Uh, I can potentially rally these, they're disrupted. So they're within six inches of their divisional commanders, so that's fine. Uh, they're outside of two inches from an enemy unit, so that's good. But they are disrupted, so it's a minus one. So they get five, and that is good enough. So they're okay. They are now able to move and fire. Right, the Austrian artillery actually on the escarpment here can start to hit Puto's division there. So it's minus one for uh, distance, just at the extreme range, but plus one because it's first fire. No effect. Okay, so French column attack, they'll get plus one for the column, a plus one because the divisional commander is involved and the Austrians are on uh, uh, normal. So that's plus two to the French. So at five, four, uh, the Austrians will route six. They'll move directly away and will be disrupted. 
So they'll go uh, two because they're in the village. And where they go, they are disrupted there. Now there's an option to follow up for the French, uh, which they can therefore go uh, two inches, I guess, which they will do. So they'll take hold of the eastern part of the village of Mark. Get that divisional commander up there as well, old Gouda. Right, I think for the Austrians, um, they need to be a little bit careful now. They're going to start to move this division forward here to support uh, that village and also this division on the left uh, as we look forward. Uh, three, so nothing happens here. He's dithering. He's not quite sure what to do. On the right as we look, uh, seven is good enough. Shoring up that forward edge of the escarpment. We get the heavies moving forward. No problem with them. And the hussars. Uh, again, they're not keen, so there's only half of them going. They're staying behind, so they're messing about. And that's it for the Austrian movement at the moment. Right, we need to rally these chaps here. Uh, on a one, no chance. Now we've got the battery firing again at this uh, brigade in the village of Fonk together. Uh, but I think it make a lot of difference. I think they're going to be disrupted again. Right, uh, slight reset. Uh, battery firing here is minus one because of long range and minus one because they're in cover so they can't actually do anything so i'm going to allow the french because they know their business with artillery to have moved forward in previous rounds here so they're within six inches and they can commence firing otherwise they're not going to do any damage at all and that's obviously not realistic secondly then these guys are not disrupted and from the perspective of the assault here this was a large uh, unit so they will not be pushed out i didn't give the austrians uh, the benefit of the cover of the village so they won and the french will be routed and they'll go back here there's an option to follow up which the uh, austrians will not do because they want to stay in the cover of the village divisional commander will go back so i think i'm um, sorted there and these guys will be disrupted right I think that is a reset sorted. So actually, the village is very much still in Austrian hands. Right, so that being the case, uh, Puto's division will continue its advance. And I think I'm going to push them slightly to the left of the village to allow the artillery to do their business. Right, are they following orders? No, they're not. Uh, the divisional commander now is dithering on the edge of the stream. He doesn't like the look of it, so they are not moving. Right, Goudan's division then. Um, they're going to get this second attack column in if it works. Oh dear. Well, they're dithering as well. They've obviously seen their fellow uh, column be pushed back out of the village and they don't fancy it. Freya coming up the road. Yeah, they're going to do the business. Well, there are four. There's a lot of concentration of French here at the moment. And um, Moran's division, um, half moving. I'm going to get the half that are stuck in the river. I'm going to get him out, actually, to be honest. Mm, bit of a shambles over here, but that's ah, probably quite realistic. I think Devu is going to get in on the action here. He's going to snuggle around there. He's trying to get up and help out the rally here. Right, now some rallying. Oh, we've got two disrupted units here. Uh, it's minus two for disruption, but plus one because the divisional commander is there. So we need a four, and they get it. And the rear group will need a six. They don't get it, so they remain disrupted, cannot fire, cannot move. Right, so the Austrian artillery will continue to fire here. All right, so plus one because they're uphill, but it's a minus one because it's long range. Right, there's no melees, so it is going to be the Austrians to move. Right, 
Uh, that divisional commander probably didn't use him last time, but he's going to actually get in that village and attach himself to this uh, brigade. This division on the right as we look, they are going to continue advancing. They just come up to the edge of that road. Cavalry flanking there, probably not overly useful as a single unit. And this uh, division here, got the artillery firing, which I think I'll keep there. But they don't fancy it, so they're staying there. All right, the light cavalry, uh, they're okay this time. So I'm going to get them back together. Maybe lagging behind the heavies. Um, and I think for the moment, they're just going to come over to the left slightly. Uh, which they only half will do. Side over there. Right, there's no rallying for the Austrians. So shooting now, because this uh, column fell back, it's obscured these two uh, guns, or these two batteries. So we've only got these two batteries to fire for the French at these. So it's minus one because they are in fortified positions in the village. So basically I've got sixes to get it pinned. And no melees, so the end of the round. All right, more round, let's see what's happening. Oh dear, it's a blunder. <laughs> oh five well they're lucky because they're still going forward so not quite a blunder so they're moving up quite nicely now right i want to get grushy's cavalry over the river or stream rather yes they do they only go three but that's enough so that's the cuirassiers over the dragoons up here are they behaving? Um, not really. One goes forward. Um, I'm going to get caught up in this. This is another bit of a stream, actually. Not quite as uh, bad as the Rossbeck stream, but still going to cause some disruption of movement. And finally, the uh, light cavalry on the side here. Again, only half. Cheval. A cheval. Right, back to the main event. Can we get Goudin's division into the village? Uh, well, actually, that's good enough. So they can come in. It's a large formation. It's an attack column. Only half of the division's moving, but I can probably still move the divisional commander around. So uh, Goudin is going to get involved there and give him a plus one. And Puto, what's he up to? Oh, he's finally getting going. We're going to slightly drift left. Only going two inches because of this stream and woods, etc. Opening up nicely for the Grand Battery. And finally, Friel's, uh division here. What I want to do is get them using the road and the bridge and then peel off to the right. That's the orders and that's what they're doing. Nice. Right, no rallies for the French. All right, artillery here, still long range, firing at these guys. Ooh, nice one, they are pinned. Wrong, disrupted, because they're uphill, which cancels out the long range, and a six is disrupted, so they can't move or fire. Right, and we're into the village of Mark. We've got this uh, large French column attacking, so it's a large unit, divisional commander in support. Uh, also the divisional commander for the Austrians. So let's work out some dice. Right, so the Austrians will get uh, plus one for being large, plus one for being a built-up area, and plus one for the divisional commander. So they're plus three. And the French will get plus one for column, plus one for uh, large unit, and plus one for divisional commander. So they're also plus three. That's a draw, re-roll. And that is a victory for the uh, Austrians again. And the loser routes again. So they're going to have to go, I think, the other side of uh, this division coming up here. Disrupted. And a poor continuation of the attack. Austrians doing well. 
right behind the Austrian line on the left. We're going to get these uh, light cavalry moving. They haven't been very keen so far, but that's all right. Heavy cavalry. We're going to play. Uh, sorry, I should have said what I'm going to do there. Uh, first of all, we're just going to get together. So they're one group. These dragoons. Right, this division here is going to push up and uh, get some defensive line uh, next to the village. Which they do, not a problem there. This is a large unit. Divisional commander will go with the uh, normal size unit. And this cavalry unit here, well, I'll just hop up here again. I'll be careful with them because they're pretty useless. And over on the Austrian right, uh, only half will move when we get these guys to come down here. Move the divisional commander with them, get those moving up next time. Drift right slightly, should have said. Give room for the battery to fire. Right, there's no Austrian units to rally. So the French are going to fire the battery again here. And he's six is to get a pin. Okay, so that's a pin. But a pin's not actually that useful because uh, there's no uh, deduction in melee. So that's not of much cop. I might have to move them further forward. And as there are no melees to resolve, that is the end of the round. Right, movement. We've got Frion's division here, which is um, going to the right hand side of the village. Now, the Austrians have come into play, so they'll go steaming straight for them, hopefully. Yes. Right, I'm going to crash this attack column in here. And one here. Divisional commander will go with this group. Uh, this division needs rallying. Uh, we've got the core commander here, which is good news, so we can get some bonuses there. But uh, I'm not going to send this gang in on its own, so they'll just stay there. Uh, ooh, I'm going to have to move this artillery. Uh, it's not playing, so that's part of this division. For orders, uh, five, only half can move, or only half wants to move. So I'll sidle them up there. Uh, that means it'll block them out of the way, but I've got to get this artillery further forward. And this division here, they can't move. Ooh, so, well, they're going to be slow going across anyway, I guess. Yes, they do go across in two inches. So they'll go there and divisional commander will move up there. So help with that rally. All right, what's more around up to, he's okay. They're all off and running. Now, I'm gonna get some full movement here. Uh, wrong, got this stream, sorry, I forgot about that. There we are, never mind. They're waking their way up though. I'm gonna crash into that uh, left-hand flank of the Austrians here, and they haven't got anybody there, so the Austrians might have to pull their finger out and get some uh, more movement down the slope. Right, French cavalry, let's get these dragoons together, I think, if I can. Uh, yes, half move, so they'll move up there and rejoin. Cuirassier, what are they doing? Uh, only half move. Oh, listen about. They can move up there. Bazaars, they're okay. Uh, I'll get that little uh, bit of uh, stream and woods and Cheval, uh, Cheval on the right. They will continue to move around. So the cavalry doing a good uh, right flanking move at the moment. Austrians looking to uh, counter that. But I think it's looking very interesting here, just to the right of the village, east of the village, uh, for the uh, French attack going in there. Right, first let's do some rallying. These chaps here, uh, they're disrupted, but they've got the uh, divisional commander, so it's uh, a base zero. Five is a good rally. These chaps here uh, don't have anything, so they need a six. They haven't got it. Uh, these will need a five. Divisional commander is attached. Yes. And these will also need a five because the core commander is attached. Oh, nice one, Centurion. Right, that is that. We're now into some melees. This will be interesting. Right, so the Austrians have been on a plus straight plus one because they are large 
the French will be on a plus one and because uh, they're large and plus one because divisional commander is involved. So it's plus two, plus one. Uh, so it's four, three. Uh, the loser routes. One to two, he's destroyed. No. They're disrupted. And I've got an option to follow up. I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to allow the divisional commander to go with them because they are attached. Yeah, so we sort of push in. Right, and the other fight here is uh, plus one because the divisional commander is involved. Uh, plus one because large, plus one column. So it's plus two, plus one. So it's three, five. So plus two victory to the Austrians. Loser routes. Disrupted. option to follow up um, I don't think they will they've got to hold this line as best they can right Austrian division on the left they're okay they're just going to come up there join them right I'm going to do something silly here these hussars are going to charge the French here well, first of all going to see if they can do that yes they can I don't think they're going to do much else on the road they're going to charge down the hill and see if they can hit this uh, disrupted unit and do some damage. They'll probably get killed, but there we go. Blood rush is there. Uh, this Hussar unit will move up, which they do. And they're going to face off with the French Light Cavalry there. So as the Light Cavalry there, the Dragoons are just going to stay there a moment. They're just securing that flank. Well, I think a division at the rear, they're going to push their artillery over to the flank. Yeah, half, half the group can move, so that's them. Uh, the rest of it, I think, will stay as is. Right, uh, Austrian rally. Uh, they're minus one, and the enemy is within two, so it's minus three. I don't think they can rally. No. That is it for rallying. Right, now we're going to get the batteries to fire again at these guys here. Uh, but I lost the range. Uh, they're not close range yet. In effect, again. Oh, I forgot to rally this guy. Could they rally? No. Right, now we need to resolve melees. So we have a melee here. Uh, the French are large, plus one. Divisional commander, plus two. I may have, or ought to have done a follow-up melee, I think, on this one. Uh, last round. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to think about that for next time. Anyway, plus two for them. Uh, plus two because they're disrupted. So they're plus four. And these guys just get a plus one because they're large. So it's four one to the French. Which is going to be ten seven, which is a plus three difference. Loser is destroyed. Right, they're a standard line regiment. So a roll of one die six for a bad thing's happened. Two there's minus one, and the Austrians are on 11 at force morale. Now these guys have an option to follow up, uh, which I don't think they're going to do this time because they'll be getting isolated. Right, now onto the uh, madness of the Hussars. They are plus two because uh, these guys are disrupted, but they're minus one because they're light cavalry. So it's plus one for these, and uh, plus one because they're large. So it's plus one all. Oh, look at that. 6-3, destroyed, wow, and there we go, follow up, right, firstly, bad things happen for the French, line being killed, 6, oh, that's minus 3, they're down on 9, force morale, now we have the follow up here, uh, which is going to be, uh, it's plus 2, minus 1 because light cavalry, minus 1 because it's follow up, so there's 0, and there. Zero. Right, roll again. Roll again. And that's a kill. Bad things happen. Four is minus two. And the French are on seven. Follow up again. Uh, straight over the river. So there you have it, Hazars have just punched a hole through that division. 
Fantastic. All right, Puto Division, let's see what they can get up to now. Ah, they're feeling a little bit more confident. So over the stream. There we go. Uh, well, they can't do anything. These could advance on their own, but I don't think they will. Uh, and these chaps are probably going to go straight for the village again. See if Goudan can get himself organised this time. Right, they're in. They go four inches anyway on that road, so away they go. I'll go with them. Uh, now, can I get these guys in as well? I don't see why not. Probably because... Um, They'll lose some before going through the village, so I don't think they can actually get that or get far enough. Devu, on the other hand, could get involved as well. He's got six inches plus one for the road, so I'm going to, think I'm going to chuck him in. So we've got the core commander, divisional commander, with this large column coming up. Get the Austrians out of the village. Let's go for it. Why not? Now, these guys, uh, they're a waste of time there. They're going to move up again. Uh, I think I've got to rally them off so they can't move. I'll rally in a minute. Uh, this chap, I think, is the only one left from that uh, division. So, um, I think he was going to pull back for the moment. Don't think he can sort of pull back and go sideways, and same, same with the village there. So he's going to pull back. And then Moran's division... Uh, they're dithering, okay. Right, Dragoons, um, I think they're going to hook up with the uh, Cuirassier. So they're going to go up to the road, no further. Um, oh God, only half of the move. Right, Cuirassier, they're okay. So they're going to form up together. The Hazars are going to go over to the Chasseur à cheval, not the Chevaux à cheval, as I keep calling them with my schoolboy French, because that's horses of horse, I think. So the Hussars uh, will come up. Yes, they do. And over here. And the Chasseurs will just stay there. Right, it's rallying for the artillery. Yes, so they can move next time. The other artillery, no. Uh, these guys here will be a straight. Oh, they're all disrupted. They need a six. I don't get it. That's unfortunate. And I think that's the only rally required. Right, shooting by the Austrians. Could potentially fire here. Um, yeah, why not? 45 degree angle, they'll probably just about do that. First of all, I'll fire my uh, artillery. So they are... Um, yeah, so they get a plus one. Two, no effect. Right. Now the uh, muskets of the um, brigade here. Oh, I think these guys actually get a plus four. Um, they're large. They've got their commander. They're uphill and it's first volley. Ooh, this could be nasty. Ten. Target destroyed. Wow, smashed immediately. And they're pinned. Vicious musket fire there. What's the uh, uh, bad things happen is a two. That's minus one off force morale. The French are down to six. Right. Um, any other firing? They're too far away. Ooh. I think we've got some firing here, though. Um, so they're just going to get a plus one because they are uh, with the divisional commander. Uh, but it's first volley. It's plus two. Oh, my word. Another kill. Now, this time, is the commander killed? Uh, one and two he is. No, he's all right. So I think he's just, well, he's, that's his division's gone, smashed. So I think he's going to disappear. That's another bad thing that's happened for a brigade being destroyed. Another one. French are on five, force morale. Disastrous. All right, now we're going to resolve a melee. So large, built-up area, divisional commander. So plus three. Large, column, divisional commander, core commander. So one, two, three, four. 
all three to the French. They've really got to get the uh, Austrians out of this village. That's a draw. Uh, 10, 8, so they win by two. Loser routes. Um, and they are disrupted. And they are going to follow up through the village with divisional and corps commander going with them. So another combat. So it's four again for the French. Uh, they get plus one because these guys are disrupted, but they lose one because they're following up. So it's four one this time, which is eight seven. They route again. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, I didn't roll. One and two when you route, you die. No, they didn't. Okay, this time round, do they die? One and two? No, they don't. So they go back three. And I think they're going to follow up again. Right, now this time, it's going to be three, one. Wrong, four, one. Um, so that is going to be eight. Four, destroyed. And they've got to follow up. Ooh, dear oh dear, little mad. Corps commander, divisional commander, pushing forward. Bad things happen for the Austrians. Six, and that's minus three. So they dropped to eight immediately. Uh, oh, I forgot their divisional commander. Mm, I messed that up a bit. Anyway, well, I'll roll to see if he is uh, killed. One or two he is. Uh, no, so he's escaped. Um, so I guess he is going to go over to his other um, brigade in the village. Right, so this division here uh, will not move. They're pinned anyway. Uh, so are they. I don't want to send them off on their own, so they're staying there. They will be staying in the um, village. They're pinned, so they can't do anything, uh, but I'm going to bring the cavalry well, I don't know. The cavalry can attack there, why not? Let's see if they can uh, do that. Yes, they can. So they're going to hit the side of them, but they can just turn and rotate because they're disrupted. Let's see what happens there. I think we're going to finally get some um, action on the Austrian left flank with the cavalry, light cavalry here, the Hussars. They're going to smash into the um, Chasseur à cheval. Are they going to do it well? Oh, blunder. Right. Three. Unfortunately for them, that is one full move to the left. So they're going to come up here. It's useless. The heavy cavalry, on the other hand, um, what are they going to do? Again, I think they're just going to stay there. They've only got four inches range, so they can't contact anybody this goes, so they'll stay there. Right, in the Austrian centre, uh, this corps commander shouldn't be here. should actually be a bit further down the hill with his division, so he's going to go snuggle down there now. And this division, well, the artillery is in range there. I think they're okay there. At, well, no, no, okay, they're going to move forward. Uh, well, they don't. They're dithering, like I am. So there we go. We'll do some rallying now. Uh, these guys have their divisional commander present. Well, so it's plus two. Nope. I don't know whether it's actually worth doing the artillery. Uh, no. These guys in the village, uh, yes. They're still going to stay there. Right, these two batteries are going to fire at the village. Uh, they're still not close range. So it's minus one. Uh, that is no effect. And then the only other thing of note is this melee here, where the Hussars are going to try and smash this uh, brigade, who are disrupted. So they get a plus two because uh, the, they're disrupted, but a minus one because they are light cavalry. So it's plus one for these and uh, zero for these. Uh, so that's three, four. So the Hussars lose. And they will route five. They will not follow up. Check the Hussars aren't killed. One or two they are, and they are. Bad things happen for the Austrians. One, minus one, and the Austrians are on seven. So they're on seven and the French are on five. All right, French uh, go Puto's division here. Uh, they're going to keep pushing on. Uh, can they do what they need to do? Yes, they can. In they go. Uh, 
divisional commander will get in with this group, I think. Right, Gudan's division is split quite away here. Um, obviously, core commanders with Gudan himself. He's obviously up for a good um, write-up tier medals after this if he survives. Um, but they're a bit isolated, so I think I'm going to push this other brigade forward. Now, can they do what they are required to do? Yes. Um, they're a bit stuck through the village, though, so they can only go so far. Rion's division, come on, guys, you need to... Yes, there we go, you need to support your core commander. Right, they'll come straight over this way. Right, Dragoons. Yes, well, they will join up with them. Colossier. Yes, they will join up with them. Oops. Well, they will join up because they're still separate uh, formations. Right, the Tsars are going to come to the flank of the Austrian horse there. Ready to pounce on the flank. And the chasseurs will just hang about there, I think. Right, need to do some rallying. So the guns, no, no, uh, no. These guys here, no. So they're a bit of a waste of time. That is all the rallying required by the French. The only firing I can ascertain from the Austrian perspective is this battery here on the escarpment down towards Goudin's division. It's long range, but they're downhill. So that's a straight zero on the dice roll. It's six. Ooh. And they are disrupted. Right, onto the melee action here then. We'll start with this group here. So it's a column attack for the French. That's one um, against uh, zero. I think that is the only change there. So that is going to be four, two, net two win. They will rout. But are they destroyed? No. They'll be disrupted. So, do I follow up? Um, yes, why not? They go again. Right, so the French will get plus one for column. Uh, plus two because they are disrupted, but minus one because they're following up this time. So it's plus two against zero. And that is a kill. Now they've got to follow up. So they're pushing forward. Oh, this is quite interesting now. Bad things happen for the Austrians. Six. That's minus three, and the Austrians are on four, force morale. Wow, okay, right. Here we go here. Um, this is going to be a large uh, unit. Well, it is large. One, plus one for the divisional commander, and plus one here, so it's one two uh, which is six five so that's a win for the french the loser routes does he die no so they push back and they will follow up they're disrupted uh so they're minus one but plus two so they are plus two uh one Four, two. So they've got a route again. Uh, and they are killed or destroyed. Ooh, wow. Go on. Option to follow up. They will follow up. Ooh. Uh, hold on. Let's go back a bit. Uh, divisional commander. Was he with them? Don't think he was, was he? No, they're gone. Okay. They push forward. Bad uh, things happen. Oh, cocky. Oh, another six. Austrian force morale's plummeted to one. Disaster. Well, look at that. Puto's taking his time getting across the stream there, but he's just absolutely smashed that division, driving up the escarpment there. Uh, the guns are isolated. The core commander's isolated. Um, and over on the right flank, old Davu and uh, Goudin on the other side of the village, and they've taken the village. That Austrian unit is isolated and uh, they'll mop them up later but um oh it's catastrophe for the uh, austrians 
they're looking down on a disaster. Right, these chaps here, um, I'm quite sure what to do with them. We've got a divisional commander on his own, corps commander on his own, and there's literally um, a couple of their units left. Well, I suppose divisional commander will hop over to his guns. Corps commander, phew, well, what's he going to do? Just move over to the village there. He's safe there, ish. Right, now the corps on the um, escarpment here. I think this lot are going to have to sort of side around to the right to take uh, care of that flank there. Um, only half of them go. They'll move over there. Divisional commander will go. That's all they can do. And to be honest, the rear division can't really do a lot because the other one's in the way. Right, Hazars here. Um, they will charge the Chasseur à Cheval if they can. Would you believe it? They're dithering, so they don't. And the Dragoons, well, again, they're not close enough to get into contact with the uh, French Heavy Cavalry. Um, they might withdraw, actually. Which they do. Just going to come back. Just play it safe for the moment. Right, Austrian Rally. These chaps here need a five. They've got a six. That's fine. Um, not that that really makes a great deal of difference um I don't, i'm not quite sure about rallying the guns actually uh, i suppose if they wanted to move well they might well want to move actually uh no and these chaps here no all right all right the french guns here uh they can all fire uh but um they're not going to do a great deal are they i think we've already ascertained that we're going to be at six, we can't get two of them, we're only going to be pinned. Which doesn't really do much good. And there is no other shooting. And there is no other melee. So that's the end of the turn. Alright, Puto's division here. They're just going to go straight up the hill. And see what they can do. Uh, but only half will move. Oh dear, well, I better take them up there then. Oh, they can't go that far. They're not quite in range. Slogging up the hill. Uh, and also a divisional commander can't move because he's part of the other half that can't. All right, that's fine. Well, they get shot at, no doubt. Uh, right, uh, Goudan can't do anything. They're still disrupted, so I've got to roll for them in a bit. But I might get um, Davu to a bit of safety, perhaps, in a moment. He can move independently. Uh, but let's just roll for that division. They can move, so what will happen here is this brigade will move up and give them a bit more support. All right, that's looking a bit better. Further back to the right, I've got Friant. What's he going to be up to? Uh, let's see what they can do. Uh, half can move, which is enough, so we'll get that one in there. And enough to attack them. And I'll tell you what, I am going to allow that. And over here, I'm going to get the uh, Dragoons to advance just across the road. No, they uh, go their full move. Uh, I've forgotten the uh, Austrians are retired. Um, only half can go. Okay. And the Carassier, uh, only half can go. So they bugger themselves up there. Uh, the Hussars and the uh, Chasseurs will just hang about. Right, rally time here. Yes, now that's handy. Rally time here. No, I mean, they, they're just shot to bits, <laughs> quite literally. And uh, they're not playing any part in the battle at all, are they? That is it. Well, we've got the guns. Uh, yes. Uh, no. No. All right, Austrian firing. These guys can fire at the uh, column as they advance. So it's large, they're uphill, it's first volley. So they're plus three, and they get an eight, which is destroyed. Ooh, bad things happen. Five, and that's minus two, and the French are now on uh, three force morale. So this fight is not over just yet. But that, I think, is the end of the firing. All right, so here we have the French pushing hard to the east of the village of Mark. If they get rid of this Austrian brigade, it might open the floodgates and uh, route the whole of the Austrian wing off the table. Right, so the Austrians will be all, uh, 
nothing plus one because they're divisional commander. I think that's it. Uh, the French will be uh, plus one for being large with their divisional commanders plus two and another three because they're another unit in the fight. So I think it's three one to the French, uh, which is draw. Ooh, lucky. Go again. Uh, and that is a uh, seven two. So that is destroyed. Is the uh, divisional commander killed? No. Bad things happen though. Two. And they will follow up. Catch the divisional commander. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter because the Austrian force morale has collapsed, collapsed to zero. And they are streaming away. So there we have it. Uh, Davu has done a successful attack on the right flank at the Battle of Wagram. Uh, the cavalry on the right hand flank for the French uh, and the left for the Austrians just did a little bit of dancing around, didn't really get involved. Uh, but the main excitement was uh, firstly capturing the village of Mark from the Austrians, although they haven't actually captured all of it because they've got an isolated pocket there. But they've certainly uh, destroyed uh, most of the forces there and pushed through and starting to hit the second line of defences for the Austrians. And they don't like it. The Austrians, they've seen enough and they're going to row away. So, wow, look at that. Good fun. Enjoyed that. Well, that was my first play with the two mil uh, Napoleonics that I've had for about five years. So I'm quite happy with A, how they looked um, and how the game played out. Few uh, errors with the rules, um, but that's uh, no great surprise. I was relatively happy with the mechanism to see whether the divisional commanders would follow their orders or not. And also using the bad things happen and total force morale method, which I borrowed from the two fat lardies games uh, for the overall state of the armies. So to summarize, uh, good fun, got the minis on the table and I'll definitely be playing more of these games. So if you enjoyed that, look out for them and I hope to see you next time.